Hi everyone, I'm Scott Davenport. This is the third video in a series to get you up and running with On One Photo Raw quickly. In this video, we'll do a couple of basic workflows for post-processing. One of them will be driven by presets, and another one will do a little more crafting of the sliders to, to get our image where we want it to be. So let's get started. I have this photo in the edit module, and overall I'm pretty happy with how it looks. There's a couple of things I notice is the horizon is a little bit tilted, and I would like there to be a little more, a little more color, a little more punch. And I'm gonna start off by looking at the presets, and there is a good category for that called starting points. If I click this grid here, I'll get a nice large set of thumbnails that show what this photo will look like if I apply this preset. And as I look at them, there's a couple that look quite cool. I like the way desert landscape landscape desert looks and um, night is kind of nice because it's a little airier but i don't like how it's doing the blues out of the sky there so let's choose landscape desert and that's applied to the scene this looks pretty darn good uh, i want to do two things to finish this off i want to straighten the horizon and then open up the shadows a little bit this area looks a little bit uh, too shadowed so for the horizon i'll grab the crop tool and I have a couple of choices. I can move the cursor outside of the crop window and notice it becomes this circular arrow. If I click and drag, I can rotate it and I can nudge it into place. Or I can use the level tool in the crop tool and just draw a line right across the horizon there and get that straight that way. That looks good. And then for the shadows, I'll move over in the develop tab to these main sliders in tone and color. And let's get shadows and start opening that up a little bit. It's a little better. And perhaps add a touch more contrast, maybe something like that. And let's take a quick look at before and after. Before and after. So with just you know a handful of clicks and maybe a minute or so of time, we've got a photo that's looking really, really good. Let's have a look at one more photo. This time we'll go directly into the sliders and build the look of our scene from the ground up. When I'm working with a photo in edit and I know that I'll be just using this controls on the right hand side, I will hide the left hand panel so that we get a nice big preview of the photo. And as I make changes, I'll be able to see those changes much more clearly. Now for this photo, looking at it, I want to straighten that horizon. I want to warm the photo up a bit add some contrast so these rocks can get punched out here a little more, and maybe finish it with a vignette. Let's start with the horizon line, that crop tool, and I'll just go on the outside edge there and rotate that to, looks like, right about there. Looks good. We'll apply that change. And now let's start over in the develop area of tone and color. I turn on the levels panel so I can keep an eye on the histogram. I've got a couple of spikes up here at the very edge for the highlights. Not surprising because the sun is out here and that's going to be white hot. Looks like I do need to get a little more shadow detail in there. So um, first off, let's get the black point nudged down a little bit. and I'm just kind of watching the histogram around there. I do want to open up the shadows some. The foreground is a little bit... Uh, a little bit dark. As a matter of fact, let's take a look at the camera profiles because sometimes a camera profile will give us a very good starting point. And as I just hover over these, I get to see each one. And I kind of like how camera landscape looks so far. Let's go with camera landscape. That's already given me a nice good starting point for the photo. This rock's a little richer. Got my black and white point. I'm okay with a little bit of these highlights going out here. There's no detail up there in the sky. Let's get down to temperature and start warming this photo up. Okay, that's that's looking better. Now, a couple of things I notice here is I'm taking on kind of a, a greenish cast. We can combat that some with the tint slider, but also we'll turn to the effects tab and work with some color. So let's go ahead and add a color adjustment. And in the green areas, I want to shift those a little, little less green, a little undersaturated them, and maybe shift them a little more toward a warmer tone. If I push it really far, we'll start to see that effect more dramatically. Before that, and after. Not bad. Let's also check 
In the yellows, we can do the same thing. We can shift the hue a little more toward orange, desaturate a little bit, just to take the edge off of that greenish colored cast there. I also want to get some contrast. Let's add dynamic contrast, and this will be just a nice overall subtle yet effective contrast punch for the scene before, after, a little more of that texture in the rocks, uh, in the water rather, and, and certainly some more texture in the rocks. And now I'm going to pop back over to the develop and revisit that temperature slider. Let's play around with that a little more. If I make that warmer or cooler, maybe somewhere right around there is feeling pretty good. I don't want to lose all of the, the blue tone of that water. That's nice. Back over to the effects module, and I'm going to add a vignette. I like my vignettes pretty subtle, so I'll click the subtle. And that just adds a nice soft vignette at the edges before and after. So summed all up, this was the beginning photo. This was the finished photo. Well, that's two quick examples of processing in the edit module. There's a lot more power in the edit module. Besides all of the filters and all of the sliders, there's masking, there's blending options. So you can go as deep as you want to. But if you're looking for a pretty quick edit, you can do that nicely and easily in the edit module with just a few filters and a few slider adjustments.